Why is your main? Alright. I'm surviving. What are you doing up here? I think I just needed some time. Is this because of... Yeah, you guessed it. Uh, you wanna talk about it? That's okay. I know you're feeling lost. I can tell. Why don't you just wait in the car? Because I wanna cheer you up. I'm fine, Brock. Let's just leave it at that, alright? I know you're not. Is there anything you actually need, or you're just gonna come to bother me? You know what, you're being an asshole right now. Yeah, well, the feeling's mutual. You know, it was much better when I was alone. Well, you're not, Jimmy. So get used to it. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. I'll be waiting in the car. Wait. I apologize. She's gone. Hello, oh, sir. How may I help you? <sighs> Are you okay, sir? I'm really sorry I have to do this. Oh, God. Please, please, man, don't hurt me. I have a family. I'm sorry. I did, too. God, I love my job. Take point and you cover my behinds, alright? I know what I'm doing, Jimmy. Yeah. This is the police. Move away from the fence, sir. You're coming with us. I can't. I won't do it. I know you're scared, but everything's gonna be okay. My name's Jimmy. What's yours? I'm... Peter. Alright, Peter. Listen, everything's gonna be okay. Stop! Don't move. Move again, and I'm jumping. I swear. I lost my goddamn job. I lost my wife. My goddamn daughter. Peter, listen. You have so much to live for, man. And they'll probably come to visit you from time to time. They didn't leave me. They died. Killed. Peter, listen to me. I'm sorry. But you need to step away from that ledge. Without them, I have nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing to live for. Peter, step away from the ledge, man. Please. I'm sorry, officer. There's no hope. No!
Shimmy, we need to get down there. Everybody, listen up. My name is Chief Blake Everett. Since the unfortunate tragedies that occurred last night due to Lieutenant Kelly's death, I will be taking her place. So you will be reporting to me. Any questions? Can we go home early? No. Can we get an extra half an hour for lunch? No. Everything will be business as usual until I say so. Thank you. God, what a day. See you tomorrow, Brick. Alright, I'll see you, buddy. Huh. Oi, Jimmy. Hey, Brooke, listen, uh, I've gotta get going. Hold on a sec. I think we need to investigate Lieutenant Kelly's murder. What, did the new chief tell you that? No, but... I want to. Well, I don't. I just want to go home. Please, Jimmy. I need this. You just don't get it, do you? What part of no don't you understand? What are you so afraid of? It's not our orders, Brooke. Oh, right, so that's what you're afraid of. Getting in trouble. No, you're wrong. When are you gonna swallow that pride? Pride is all I've got. You've got me. Maybe now it's time you decide between your partner or your stomach-ass pride. Ah, there you are, Jimmy. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. This is me you're talking to, Jimmy. I know something's wrong. And you don't have to tell me. But I'd like to hear it. Well... Alright then. It all started after Abigail. Ah, yes. I can't imagine how much you're going through right now, Jimmy. It's not just that. Earlier today... A bank robber who lost his family. I mean, lost, lost his family. He killed himself. Right in front of me. Jimmy, if there's one thing I've learned through life, it's that you can't do everything. You can't be the perfect man. I guess we're all just model at the end of the day. I know everything's been hard, Jimmy. But you always bounce back. I guess. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard. I mean, I barely knew Abigail. I just worked for her. And that guy? I don't even know who that is. I've still got my life, and that's what I need to focus on. That's the spirit of me. Anyway, listen, I'm... Forgive my language. Pooped. I'm going to head to bed. Wait, before you go... Yeah, Jimmy? If you had a choice, 
the partner or the pride? Did she choose? Well, I spent my whole life picking pride, and I regret it every day. Your partner is irreplaceable. I mean, sure you can get a new one, but they will never be the same person. Thanks, Randy. Anytime, Jimmy. Jimmy, what are you doing here? I just wanted to see you. At 5 a.m.? I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about what you said. Look, I'm really sorry to wake you up at this time, but can we talk? There's nothing to talk about, Jimmy. You made yourself clear earlier. I was wrong, though, about everything. I was wrong. Really? Yeah, I was an asshole. I know it sounded like I'd given up, but I was on edge. We all were. Especially after Abigail. And then earlier with Peter. It's okay. I understand. I'm glad you came. Yeah, me too. coming in for a drink or something? Love to. Do you want another drink? Well, it's tempting, but we got work in a few hours. I almost forgot about that. Maybe it's best we don't have any more then. You know, if I'm making you uncomfortable, I can put on some more clothes. Yeah, don't worry about it. You look fine. Beautiful, actually. Oh. Um. Well, thanks. <clears throat> so I got a question. What's up? Why are you so interested in Abigail's murder? Like, why do you want to solve this case so much? Well, because... It's the right thing to do. Hmm. Partner. I'm sorry? Earlier you asked me to choose between my partner or my pride. Well, I'm gonna choose my partner. You know why? Because my partner is my pride. Wow. So does that mean you'll help me? You bet. And I have a good feeling the new chief will be on board with it. Absolutely not. Come on, man. Why the hell not? Oh, it is a wonder, isn't it, Jimmy? You're a patrol cop, not a detective. And if I'm aware, the last case you were on, the suspect jumped off a roof. Chief Everett, please. I have good confidence that we'll be able to find the killer. Sorry, Officer Winters, I don't think I made myself very clear. I said absolutely not. I don't want to hear any whining from you, Vila, or you, Winters. You're going to get back to work and resume your duties. Am I making myself clear enough now? Yeah, I heard you the first time, Chief. Hmm, so what now? Well, you suggested we keep going. The Chief said no. Yeah, but we're not gonna tell him, are we? I see what you're getting out there, Officer Winters. Smart thinking. Yeah, so we're clear. This stays between us two. Yeah, Brooke could probably find out, but he won't tell anyone. So what's the plan? Well, I'm pretty convinced that the new chief wants to scrap this case as a whole. Maybe there's something that we missed at the crime scene. Well, it's definitely worth a look. Do me a favor, yeah? Watch the car. I want to save some booze from me. Good luck.
the garbage been doing on a roof. Oh my god. I'm not doing this, am I? Oh, I'm doing this. Oh god. Ugh. Oh shit. Oddly placed bin on a rooftop. With a revolver inside it? That's goddamn suspicious. This must be the murder weapon. But who does this belong to?